Hello guys, my name is Tassin and welcome to the part 6 of this series. In this, in this part I'm going to show you how to upload this image we got from a gallery uh, onto our server and using the PHP scripts we're going to uh, store that into the file system. So let's see the steps we need to do. Uh, so we have a two component, we have an Android app and we have a PHP script which is an API. Uh, so the steps we need to do in an Android app is that I will first encode the image to the base64 string uh, tell you in a minute and then we'll set up the post uh, variables so I'm gonna set up the post variables in a very nice list uh, so and then once we're done that uh, I will set send a uh, I mean initiate a asynchronous post request to the PHP script and the steps we need to do in the PHP scripts is we'll get these post variables uh, we decode this uh, base64 string into the image. Once successfully done it, we'll store that into a desired location. In my case, it will be the images folder. And once that is done, we'll update the database. That is, uh, update the image column in the customer table. So encoding the base, encoding the image into the base64 and the image and the binary data. So once using the base64, we'll We'll convert this binary data into the AC, ASCII text string. And this text string looks like a long string. And uh, by doing so, it will be easy for me to send the image uh, through the post request. And plus on that, we can also, we can also send another po other post request, with a post data variable, sorry. And the reason I'm doing it so is that uh, I got a comment in the morning saying how to add a customer from the uh, Android app. So what I reckon you can do it, you can use the same post uh, PHP script and the same methods that I'm showing you. Uh, so you can actually show a empty customer detail activity saying a new customer and then these should be blank. You will, the user will put the data into it and then select an image. And you will have a save image, save customer here, which will uh, post the same, will, which will post the post data to the PHP script. And the PHP script will be similar to what I'm showing, you, what I'm going to show you. And the 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 other thing, the extra work, what you need to do is, you need to add uh, these post uh, data variables uh, in the Android app and you need to get those post data variables in the PHP script for the new customer. So to encode, I uh, have a simple method to encode the bitmap into the string, the base64 string. So just, let's just quickly add that. Uh, so this method takes the, let's just import these. This, so this method takes the bitmap and gives, gives the string, which is a base64 string. So Let's create another string and I'll call it as image data and pass that to this. So here we go, the simple one line code to get the base string, base64 string from the image. And then when we're done it, we'll set up the image, yeah, set up the post variables. The post variable should, should have a key and a value and uh, the way we can achieve that in Android is using the basic name value pair. So if we have a more than one basic name value pair, we will put them in a list and which will be the list of a name value pair. So let's just do it. So I'll create a final list of name value pair and uh, let's call it params and it will be empty and just import this first. It will be a new empty array list and let's add the image to this. So we'll create new basic new value pair. The key will be the image and the value will be the image data. So before I show you how to create an asynchronous post request, let's see. Let me show you how what my post, what my PHP script actually want us to send. So I'm first in my PHP script, which is upload image.php. I'm checking the database connection to see if this connected to the database perfectly. 
And once we're done, I'm expecting the two uh, post uh, variables. So one is the image itself and one is the customer ID. The customer ID, because I need to update the customer table, and also I'm using the customer ID to get the image name. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting this uh, data, um, I'm getting this base 64 string and putting them into this this variable, getting the customer ID, putting them putting that into this customer ID variable, and creating the image name, which is the customer ID dot jpg. And the reason I'm doing so is the customer ID is unique, and using this file name. I'm making sure that uh, a I recognize which is the image of which customer. If I have to, if I if I quickly go and look at the image images folder, and second is it will stop me for creating the duplicate images for the same customer. And then I'll create a file path which is the image folder slash what's what's gonna be the image name of that uh, file. And then I'm checking if this file already exists. So if I've already uploaded some image of this. Uh, person and I'm uploading the new one so I'm just updating the, the updating it with the new image so I'm deleting the old file and creating the new empty file and decoding this uh, base64 string and storing that this into this file path which is the images dot image name once that is done I'm updating the customer uh, with the image name sorry I'm just gonna let him out so this is what all PHP script does. So let's create the... So what other things I need in the PHP script is the customer ID. So when I uh, load this uh, customer detail activity, I get all the details in this uh, on post execute. So I'm going to create another variable. Uh, let's call it. ID of customer and up in here the ID of customer is equal to customer object dot get string and the key is the ID the key is the ID here so I got the customer ID number here now I can add that to the post request I can find the set image file. Okay, here. So params to add new basic new value pair and uh, oopsie. Mm, the key name should be customer ID and ID of customer is the value of it. So I've created this one. Now the other thing I need to do is, if you have seen my videos, I do all the post uh, requests from the API connector class. So let's quickly create another uh, method which will be uh, let's see public because I'm ex so let's just say boolean. Uh, just let's just return it a boolean because I want to know. If I have successfully sent this request, I have not got any exceptions, so let's call it as upload image to server. And this is going to take this list we have created, which is a list of new value players, and call it params here as well. And uh, because I'm doing exactly the same thing, I'm doing the URL. The only thing I'm not doing is I'm not uh, getting any JSON object from it because this PHP doesn't, I mean, sends you anything back. In normal case, it should, but you can do all the testing yourself. You can, you can make it to uh, send back in a JSON object which says uploaded or updated yes or updated true, so you can show to the customer or user that if the image has successfully updated or not. So I'm not doing that because that's not purpose of this video. So let's say the URL for the PHP is the name of so it's upload image dot PHP 
that's the name of the file and um, so I'm creating a new HTTP post and passing the URL to it the other thing we need to do is, which I've not done in the HTTP GET methods, is we need to set the entity of it, which is the new URL encoded form entity, and pass the params to it. And so once once this is all done. For testing reason, I'm going to parse what is being sent to us. So, for example, if it sends us back not set, so if I look at the log cat, I can tell that it's okay. I've not correctly sent the image value or this one. And I can also check the file path that it's been correctly set or not because it's echoing it back. Uh, so, if it has done up till here that it has not catched anything that means it's successfully sent any some to send the request so I'm going to return true if it's not done uh, and reached up here I know it has failed to do it so I'm just going to return to false so up in here now now that we have created the request I'm going to create another async task here and just like the the previous one like here I'm gonna API connect along that's similarly what I've shown in the other videos in this case I'm returning back the boolean so I don't need a JSON object and uh, the method I'm gonna use is all doing background And it's going to take API connector. Put image to server, and we are passing the params to it. Okay, and we will execute it, passing a new API connector. So just like what we do here like execute new API connector this is a small and short way to do that so if I'm not forget anything okay let's just run it So we have the customers and we just like to change the image, select the new image and it changed the image here, let's see if it, up, okay. it has updated the image in here and let's see if it has updated, so I'll just refresh this one so it has updated the image name column as well and let's go back uh, and come back here so just showing the new image change it again and it's replacing the old image so that is done okay thank you